today we will have a look on a DT Swiss die cut wheel. We will show you how to do a simple retrewing work, how to change a single spoke and how to rebuild an entire wheel. To remove a broken spoke, we have to first remove the silver cover disc. On the D-cut rear wheel, we also have to remove the rotor. We can now clamp the wheel on the opposite side in the vise and remove the silver cover disc. To remove the cover disc we use this tool. It is important to pull tight on the broken spoke at any time, otherwise the spoke head will damage the thread of the cover disc. You can now take off the cover disc. Next we can push through the spoke, through the hub and remove it. After removing the spoke from the hub, we can now remove the remaining part from the rim. Slide the spoke into the hub and make sure you follow the spoke pattern of the wheel. Hierbei ist darauf zu achten, check the neighbor crossings. Gleich verläuft wie an den anderen Kreuzungen. Abschließend, finally we put the nipple onto the tool and screw it on to the spoke. Auf die Speiche schrauben. After reaching the initial spoke tension, we have to hold the spoke with the spoke holder so the spoke head cannot turn in the hub. When reaching maximum spoke tension, we can now assemble the silver cover disc. Therefore, we have to put screw security glue onto the thread of the cover disc and assemble it onto the hub. Nun kann die Scheibe montiert werden. Abschließend kann man den Rotor montieren und das Laufrad zum Zentrieren wieder in den Zentrierständer einspannen. We can now mount the rotor on the hub. In order to carry out simple spoke drawing work, we have to use the spoke holders. In this case, spoke holder for aero light spokes and spoke holder for new aero spokes. 
put the spoke holder onto the spoke and make sure you slide it down all the way to the rim. Now you can turn the nipple inside of the rim. While throwing the wheel, it's important to keep the spoke tension inside of tolerances all the time. After throwing the wheel, it has to be de-stressed again. It is important that spoke tension, radial and lateral run out are not changing anymore. If the wheel is stable, it is finished. When mounting the wheel into your bike, please take care to follow all safety instructions. We from DT Swiss wish you a nice ride.